Do you believe in the evil and the paranormal of the paranormal? Shout outs. I am the German Wolf. Alright guys, here's the main reason about the series that I invented two like one minute ago. These shout outs that I give to people are about when they go to a a supernatural place that is haunted and other abandoned places such as Chelsea Luna, James James the Fam, Oh My Gosh TV. Very awesome very awesome videos. I love their content because number one I had books about that kind of thing. Movies. The Conjuring. Annabelle. The Amityville Horror. Based on two things. Right? So, everything that I'm telling you about the, the, about the paranormal, I have seen things. And I got scared, yes, but not... Not in, not in shock. But the whole point is, I enjoy James the Fam. He's awesome. Chelsea Luna. I watch your stuff too, like a little bit. <clears throat> and oh my gosh, TV. And I call them the Extreme Ghost Hunters. From Florida, because they they go to abandoned houses, they go to um, a ghost town. Every place they go to, haunted. I love that stuff. I might shout out today, goes to them, and and some other people as well, um, like. I can't re I cannot re remember how many people that I enjoy watching their content about the supernatural stuff because I lived it. Let's put it that way. Because number one, I had the Ouija board a long time ago. I used it. Uh, so uh, it uh, one time, like two times. Um, I, I made contact, but here's, but here's the thing, I never got possessed by one, two, I had to bring somebody, when I used to live, I'm not going to say where, and I'm not going to reveal any real names, I had to bring somebody down to meet a family member, um, so, I, this is what I had on. I, I can show you what I had. Um, I had these blue shorts I had on. Then I had this on also, right? And my sneakers. I'd gone down with this person. On my leg, uh, I want to um, warn you right now. As of right now, I do not have a weekly board. Right, so this this person said to me, "What is on your leg?" I looked down and then I had these blue shorts on, and I I went, "Ooh, that's not good." Right, so. And this person said, what scratched you? I go, I don't know. Then I did my homework. Again, another shout out goes to I am Jay Station. He made a video about him and his friend going to a cemetery, playing with a Ouija board. And he's saying, um, we, we want to uh, contact Zozo the demon. Alright, so... The, the previous night, 
I go to bed and I felt something scratch my leg. Alright? And it, and it, to me, it felt like someone was in my bed with me. And it, and I could feel it. The next morning, it was burning. No joke. I have proof of it. And, again, I, I keep saying this. I do not, I do not own a Ouija board now. I used to. But the whole point is, don't play with one. Do not play with one, though. I did. But I seen things. But in this case, I did, I did two videos. At that time, my iPad was going, um, going haywire on me. So I did two short videos. And I said, that I was attacked by Zozo the demon in my own bed when I was sleeping, and I felt and I felt my leg like like right in the mid like right here I was like right here and here and it was like burning a little bit and that video on I am PlayStation had the same claw marks that I had. No joke. This was real. I mean, so it's over here. So, that's what I'm saying. So, these shout-outs go to Eddie, even Moss Arjay, Danny DeVito. These guys do these paranormal videos. A massive shout-out goes to everyone who does the abandoned places in the haunted in the haunted locations. Anyone gets a major shout out. I will only post a couple links for you guys for you to subscribe to them. Number one on the list would be Mosarji. Two My personal favorite is I am J Station. Um because like for I am PlayStation, this guy goes all out, and when he does when he does this, um, he 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 would go, let's get it, right? I do it differently, and he would go, what's poppin', guys? So I start saying that too, because when I say that, I get more views and and more. You know, I love how you guys uh, do, your do your comments to my channel, but the whole point is, I am real, I am legit. I talk about certain things that I want to talk about, like the paranormal stuff, because, which like I said, I live in darkness, I live in fear. The reason why... Because I have seen things, which like I said before. Like right now, um, uh, like for an for an example, my phone here, it has a a video camera. The government is watching you because if you had a phone like this. Do you know what you're talking about? Right now, I will bet you, um, you know what, I'm going to bet at you right now. I will bet you, if I can get over 50 more or 100 more subscribers, I will prove my point. Because I know things more than you. I know stuff about the paranormal, and and that and the and the conspiracy stuff. Cause I know more. I, um, I don't want to say. Well, maybe I can. He passed away though. Charles Manson, for example. I don't. I do not condone on what he did to other people. 
That's not, not important. But I have a album. The Beatles White Album. Right? I'm gonna read up, pick up my album here. And I want, I, I think up my hat so I can see it. Like, for an, an example, you have three songs. Uh, number one, Black, uh, Black Bird and Piggies and Rocky Raccoon. The person who was the, the inspiration of that is Charles Manson. How to Skelter, same thing. Because you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't, you do not want to mess around with that, with that guy. And you have um songs like Sexy Sadie. Susan Atkins was known as Sadie. So the Beatles wrote the song. Sexy Sadie for her because of Manson. What I'm telling you is the whole truth. And even Dennis Wilson from the Beach Boys hung out with Manson. He took a song from Manson and Manson didn't like that. You know why? Because Dennis Wilson changed his words. And he said to him, don't change the words. He did. And I'm not going to, well, I can spell this out for you. I don't want to scare anyone. Manson one day, um, looking for Dennis, he was at home. Somebody was cleaning his house. Manson comes in with a B-U-L-L-E-T. Let's put it that way. And, and this, and he says to his person, "Give this to Dennis." Dennis was so scared he had to move because this this prophet that he met in 1968 was crazy. What I'm telling you about this paranormal stuff, all through. Favorite, like, share, and even subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications and turn on your, uh, no wait, smash that like button so hard for my friend James the Fan for doing more paranormal videos. I'm not, I mean, like, I don't personally. I do not personally know him, I wish I did, but everything I'm telling you, please subscribe to everyone who does these paranormal videos. Only three things will be included in today's video, and that is, I am Jay Station. And most largely, that would be the only two I can think of. And maybe Danny DeVito. Uh. So, um, and then I'll do another video later. Let's, you know what, I'll see if I have time. Yeah, okay. No, this is a bit, oh, uh, I'll show you my new shirt, though, in this video. Check this out. Empire, the Albany Empire. Very awesome. My, my first football shirt. I'll see you guys later. New videos up on the paranormal in the upcoming weeks. And also, I will do a special video about movies that deals with the paranormal. I, I, I can give you three exam four examples. The Conjuring. The Conjuring 2. Conjuring 3. This coming out next year. Annabelle. Annabelle Correction. And the third installment of Annabelle that is coming out in June. I am the German Wolf. And beware of the darkness.